Kristen Prudiman in the Bing Lounge with us this afternoon. I have been waiting a long time to hear that voice live. Thank you. Oh my goodness, beautiful, effortless it Thanks. is. It was, uh, it's nice now after the surgery went smooth and I know that it's there. Yeah, how long did so. it take for recovery on that? Uh, it was about 12 days of no talking, so not a sound. But actually when I, when I woke up from the surgery, um, I like po popped up and was like, where, where am I? And the nurse was like, shh. <laughs> so I heard my voice and it sounded normal. And then I thought I'd ruined it after that pretty was much. Was there a scare before? I mean, there's always going to be when any time there's a knife brought out, there's gotta be that time too where you go. Yeah, I mean, you know, I'm, I, I'm, I'm a girl that makes her decisions based on her gut a lot and it felt really great to, uh, you know, when it came up to get surgery, I thought, oh, this feels good. This feels like the right thing to do. It wasn't really until the morning of that I had a kind of a panicky moment where, which is when I wrote Say Anything of, you know, what happens if my voice goes away? What if it changes? What if it never sounds, you know, the same? Or But generally, it's 90% chance it stays the same and a 5% chance it's worse than it was and a 5% chance that it's better. And uh, after the surgery, I started working with a vocal coach and a speech therapist to make sure... That it was all good. Oh, fantastic. A lot of yeah. ice cream? What's that? Ice cream? No, I don't know. No. Don't, don't, don't they do that? No, for you the can kind of eat whatever you want, actually. Oh, you, okay. You yeah. just go at it. All right. I think I had like mac and cheese, actually, I'm like thinking, right after. I'm thinking stories from probably the 60s or 70s. When you get so. like your wisdom teeth out. <laughs> well, thanks for being with us in Portland, too. This is huge uh, for us because she doesn't even have a show in town tonight. She is with us in the Bing Lounge just for you this afternoon. So thank you very much yeah. for this very special but, event. But thank you for having me because I actually got to go camping out by Mount Hood this weekend with my girlfriend that moved up here. And um, it's so awesome. She and her boyfriend and a couple friends, we like hiked in. I've never been camping where you, you know, there's not like a designated spot. Oh, yeah. It's just sort of like there's less tree roots here. <laughs> Pitch your tent. And um, it was San awesome. San Diego, right? Yeah, we, you know, we have like camping near the beach and it's all nice. Pretty. No, we got some places you can get lost easily. <laughs> yeah, we were, yeah, we had, um, yeah, we got a little lost out there. Oh, cool. Well, it's a great vibe, so I'm glad you dig the trees anyway. You want to tell us uh, who you've got on stage with us today? This is my friend Josh Dunahoo. And, uh... I, I want to ask the question, too. The difference between being a national model and a national music act I mean, it, there's got to be one. I'm looking at these guys taking all these pictures. It's been hard for him to get away from his male modeling schedule, I know. Yeah, right. That's true. I am I pretty. mean, you still got cameras at you, except now you get to say something and play your music. That's got to be enlightening. That's got to be, like, just freeing. I've never been more excited about it until now, after all the stuff I've recently been through. It's very exciting. Well, let's talk about that. Well, not so much that, but the, the album itself that comes out October 2nd, Cedar and Gold. I did my homework. I got to listen to it all this morning. In fact, when you were doing warms up and uh, the sound check, I was going, there's track number eight. Yeah, It was yep. like, I got to listen to it all. There is a lot of soul and a lot of emotion. Those are personal. What was that like, putting that on paper? Um, you know, I came, I came at this record from a place where I was not even sure if I wanted to play music, and I was really uninspired for a good couple years after the last record hello came out i wasn't even sure i i was at a point where i was ready to become a yoga instructor or go to culinary school <laughs> and um and you know i had the vocal surgery and i was engaged and unengaged and it was sort of like all these things kept happening and i would look up at the sky and just be like all right what is going to happen next like is the sky about to fall you know um, but music was there for me in this time that I really needed it, and I, I realized I had kind of been taking it for granted. Um, and, you know, you have friends and family and support systems we all do have around us, and it wasn't really until I could put the emotion into the song that I ever felt some sort of, like, release and peace. And uh, so this record for me is just like... It's like my best friend almost, you know. What cedar and gold mean? Where does that come from for you? Uh, the cedar and gold actually, so there's, it's kind of a three-part story. I was with my friend at lunch, and he was telling me how he was studying alchemy one day, and uh, which is the process of turning lead into gold. And it's sort of this very mystical, magical theory. And, uh, and then I, I really like the idea of gold. And I was, in my, I was at my house one day. I just recently moved into this house a year ago that my mom was pregnant with me and that my dad's kept as a rental for the last... 30 years and uh, so I moved in there and the insides the walls and the ceiling are all cedar from the, an old barn 
And uh, I had a dream one night, and my grandma came to me, which she often does, and it was like her head was like in the Pee Wee Herman, like genie <laughs> man, you know? And she was just cedar and gold, and it was going like this. And I woke up, and I was like, that was so weird. And I was like, thanks for freaking me out, grandma. And, uh, and I walked out into my living room, and I realized all the wood in the house is cedar. So for me, cedar and gold, it, cedar is what held the space for me to kind of turn my, all my crap into gold. Yeah. Well, the new album, like I say, after listening to it all this morning, it's definitely a journey, and music is a journey for you in your life, for, yeah, it for is. sure. More so keep so going, because I, I dig the path you're on, girl. Your head's screwed on straight, and uh, you're one of the good I ones, think TT. So. Yeah, no, <laughs> it's, it's definite. Good for you, and thank you for being here. Once again, in the Bing Lounge with us, Tristan Prettyman.